One of the reasons I take jobs is for money, but one of the other reasons I take jobs is because uh, I there's always something to learn, like always. Hi, I'm Jonathan Bloomberg, writing for Medicine in Sweden. Hi. Hi, Jessica. Uh, so I've, I've watched the first season and the, the first six episodes on, on the second season, mm -hmm. and the second season holds up. Uh, I'm still loving it. Uh, Thank yeah. goodness. There was a little bit of buildup in that 10 seconds that was very stressful for me. <laughs> yeah, I can, I, I can see that. Uh, but no worries. Uh, I'm, I'm still loving the show. Good. And uh, I just wanted to start out by asking how it is uh, being in a scene where uh, Harrison Ford says woof. Oh, you know what? Being in a scene where Harrison Ford says woof just feels like we're not working. <laughs> I think it just feels like you're standing next to Harrison Ford. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, you get to share uh, quite a few scenes with him yeah. since you guys share an office uh, on the show. So, so um, a lot of people, I think, were uh, surprised about how good he is in comedy. But if you had been paying attention all these years. Uh, Quite a few of his roles are pretty com com comedic. Uh, so, so uh, what can you learn or have learned working with him now? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, all of his characters have been funny. Han Solo's funny. Indiana Jones is funny. Like he's a funny dude. I was not. I thought he was perfect, like, for the part, and he's perfect as Paul. Um, what I learned about him, what I learned from him, oh, a lot. It's just I, I, t I. One of the reasons I take jobs is for money, but one of the other reasons I take jobs is because uh, I there's always something to learn, like always. It's like you're never done learning. And with him, he's 84 years old. Like he is like still doing it and it's really inspiring. And I watch how hard he works and it's like an honor to be able to watch that. And I want to be like that. Just watching his work yeah. ethic. Yeah. yeah really uh, inspiring to, to to watch yeah sure uh, so y your character uh, get we get to get a bit deeper into uh, what goes on in her life this mm -hmm. season uh, so how was it to to learn more about the character you play oh it's great i'm like always bill lawrence the creator of the show he is he's the keeper of the keys so i'm always kind of bothering him trying to figure out what the hell is going on on the show i love well, like he'll send me a random text at like 6 a.m and be like Hey, let me know if you want to have coffee. I want to talk to you about the character. And that's like the best text you can get from Bill Lawrence, like some like manic morning text. Um, and so I'm always just like, mm, what's happening with Gabby? It really, I love Gabby so much. It really matters to me what happens to her and to me. Like, I think my job is to just really, my only job on this show is to look after her and make sure she's like, you know, being taken care of, which everybody does with Gabby anyway. But I, I just, I feel like this season, we learned so much about Gabby in the first season, we just kind of get to explore her and just kind of hang out with her more in this season. And it felt good as an actor to come back for a second season because I didn't have to figure out her character. I just kind of had to like get back in the swing of playing her. And that was a really good feeling. Yeah. And as I said, I'm still loving it. So keep doing it. Oh, thank doing. God. And, and, and thanks a lot for taking the time to speak with me today. I appreciate Best luck you. With the premiere.